Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Rocco's Tech on 2 Explained. In this video I will explain how advertisement campaigns work. Now what exactly are advertisement campaigns? Advertisement campaigns can be found on the financial window and can be used to give your park a temporary boost in the number of guests that are generated. Advertisement campaigns are available in most scenarios, except the ones where you play without money, like Extreme Heights. They are also not available in the option if the option to have advertisements is turned off in the scenario, like in Rainbow Summit. Advertisement campaigns will spawn guests even in situations where the game normally would no longer spawn any guests, so they are a great way to push the number of guests higher to beat a scenario. There are six different kinds of advertisement campaigns you can run. Campaigns for half park entrance price or free park entrance price are only available if you are able to charge a park entrance fee in your park. Campaigns for free ride entrance are only available if you are able to charge an entrance price for your rides. An advertisement for one of your rides is only available if you have any rides. Campaigns for free food or drink items are only available if you actually have any shops in your park that sell food or drinks. Each advertisement campaign has its own cost. The campaigns where you let your guests pay less for food, rides or park entrance are the cheapest campaigns, but that is offset by the fact that guests that spawn will be paying less for uh, one of those things. The advertisement campaigns where you advertise your park or a ride are the most expensive, with a park advertisement campaign costing $350 per week. In the original Rocco's Tycoon 2, you could run every advertisement campaign for a maximum of 6 weeks before you had to re-enable them. In Open Rocco's Tycoon 2, this limit has been extended to 12 weeks. Because the game only checks campaigns at the beginning of the week, you often get a few days of campaign effect extra for free. Because of this, to get the maximum effect of your advertisements, it's best to only run them for two weeks every time, just after the start of the week. Personally, I typically only run them for the maximum amount of time though, so I don't have to micromanage them so much. Now, what do advertisement campaigns actually do? Each advertisement campaign has its own probability value for spawning a guest. For example, for the free park entrance campaign, the guest spawning probability is 400. This means that every game tick, the game has uh, 400 uh, divided by 65,536 chance of spawning a guest, which is around 0.6%. The game runs at 40 ticks per second, however. So the chance of this advertisement campaign spawning at least one guest uh, becomes quite high and is around 20% in every second. Each advertisement campaign has their own probability value. The free park entrance campaign has a probability value of 400. The free ride campaign has a value of 300. An advertisement campaign for the park which is the most expensive campaign, has a probability value of 250. All the other campaigns have a value of 200. If you have all advertisement campaigns active, a new guest should spawn approximately every second. There are some situations that can make the probability values lower, however. If your park entrance fee is lower than 4, the probability for this advertisement will be divided by 8. So the the guest spawning probability will only be 50. If the park entrance fee is below 6, the half entrance price campaign will have its probability value divided by 8 as well. The free ride campaign will have its effectiveness divided by 8 if the price of a ride is below 30 cents. The advertisement will have some effects on the guests that spawn because of them. They will not have any effects on the guests that spawn through the normal guest generation function. For example, if you are running an advertisement campaign for free park entry, only the guests that spawned through the probability function of this campaign will get a voucher for free park entrance. The guests that spawn normally will still pay for the park entrance. 
The same applies to vouchers for half park entrance price, free ride entrance price, or, or vouchers for free food or drinks. If you run a campaign that advertises a ride, a guest that spawn because of this advertisement will seek out the ride after they enter the park. Anyway, that was all on advertisement campaigns. I hope this explanation was uh, useful for you. In my next explanation video, I will explain more about guest spawning. I hope to see you again in the next video. See you later!